And we have so many great fireworks displays in our area. I know you're still going to set off fireworks by yourself. Maybe you have sparklers for the kids, but if you're not careful, you could seriously get injured. Sean Stryker is here with us. Sean, we talk about this every year, it's fireworks safety, but it really is important because, I mean, you can lose limbs and even worse. Yeah, all right, so on average, 280 people are sent to the emergency room every day around the 4th of July holiday with firework related injuries. All right, so what can you do to stay safe? And as long as you keep hurting yourself, we're gonna keep telling you how to do that. The most common injuries from fireworks are to the eyes, heads, legs, and hands. E even eardrums can become damaged from loud explosions. So what can you do? All right, first and foremost, don't mix alcohol with fireworks. I know this can be difficult, especially with all the barbecues, but alcohol impairs your judgment and can make you do things you normally wouldn't do. You also want to make sure you're lighting fireworks away from people and structures. You know things that can catch on fire. All right, here's a good one. Never try to relight or pick up fireworks that have not fully ignited. Douse the fireworks with water after they go off and then pick them up and throw them away. Last but not least, make sure you leave the fireworks to the adults. All right, you can take all the precautions in the world, but accidents do happen, and any time an injury occurs, doctors say it's best to seek care right away. Generally with fireworks, if you do sustain an injury, there's a good chance that the damage may be deeper than it appears, so the best thing is to get to the emergency department and let a health professional check you out. All right, so another important part of our family that we can't forget about over the next couple of days is the pets. According to State Farm, more dogs go missing on the 4th of July than any other day of the year. Wow. Just like humans, fireworks can be dangerous to your pets. Plus, they can contain toxic substances. Right. So even after they go bang, they can still be dangerous to your dog. And if you're planning to go to the fireworks, if you go to those, I mean, there's so many going on. Right. Leave the dog at home. You know, with all the people oh. and the loud noises, they can make them become overwhelming. My mom would always turn on the TV. Mm -hmm. Yes, the that's what they say. Leave, right leave the them in a quiet room, turn on the TV, and this is coming from the professionals. I mean, this is what they say yeah. to do. So, my yeah. biggest concern, though, people setting them off, and I, I, last year I made my husband get on the roof because I swore right, you told one me landed on and yeah. it did. It did, it was there. It did. It I knew it landed, like you just saw it. I was like, that's on a roof, and I'm afraid you're going to burn my house down. We, we can never, we never say this, but always be respectful to neighbors, too, because for the next couple of nights, really the whole week, it's Sounds so like Rob the British are neighbors. <laughs> you know what I mean? Set the fireworks off at nine. Yes, right next door.